this is what we're tracking them on. And it's really difficult because in some areas the wind is blowing the leaves in the tracks of it. Because like I said, this track was made last night. And for a whitetail, that doesn't ever bother me. And it, I figure what with these moose, what little tracking I have done with them, so far they don't seem to go any further than like a whitetail. They'll, they'll go, go, and go. And all of a sudden, feed heavy and lay down. And that's what we're hoping. And we're tracking on these leaves. And if you haven't got snow, you take kind of damp leaves like this. It's the next best thing. It's a little more uh, time consuming because you've got to go follow it track to track. And if you lose it, you took a right or a left to go back to where you last saw your track and you pick it up. Right now, we've found his track. We've lost it probably five times. And, but we keep finding it. And that's what you have to learn to do when you're tracking on snow or early leaves with a whitetail. You've got to just go back to that spot. You'll see that he took a left or a right.